The security uh, uh, concerns here and implications, uh, we are on the aspect of security. And when we look at the fact that uh, several countries struggle with uh, the low job and the job market is equally an issue at stake, do you think this uh, free movement is going to affect uh, the local job markets, how people get jobs, and do you think that maybe foreigners could easily get into a country and uh, which would definitely or potentially affect the local job market? How do you see this with regards to the job local job market? Does it pose any risks to the local job market? Ab Absolutely, Louis. You've touched a very important uh, aspect of this. Yes. It will affect the job mar market tremendously. Let's take a, um, a, a quick study on what has been happening in South Africa, right? Mm -hmm. South Africa has has seen we've seen some of the most uh, atrocious videos coming from South Africa because the indigenes of South Africa believe that um, their country belongs to them, and so any other. Uh, citizen, whether coming from within the continent, doesn't belong there. And the claim, the number one claim, has been the fact that uh, other African countries come in and take the jobs that belong to them. And you see that all over the world. It's not just in South Africa. It's not only um, uh, from within the continent. It, 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 it is here within the U.S. when um, U.S. Uh, citizens... Uh, you know, quote unquote, U.S. claimed citizens um, always feel like um, Africans come here and and Africans or Hispanics or Asians come here and take the jobs that they're supposed to do. The question is, are the indigenous actually doing the jobs, right? And if those citizens leave those countries will those jobs be filled by indigents, by citizens, right? So those are some of the questions. Bali, I definitely understand uh, and, and, I, and I feel the plight of the indigenous people uh, sometimes because when, when you or when citizens leave their country on economic refugee basis or on economic travel basis, they are leaving um, um, forcefully because they cannot obtain jobs in their home countries. They are in search of greener pastures in those uh, new adopted countries. And so this is some of the, this is just one of the aspects that I mentioned that needs to be taken care of. Uh, people don't have to be traveling. Citizens of Africa don't need to be traveling um, um, most because they're looking for jobs. The home countries need to take care of their citizens. The home countries need to ensure that their citizens are not going out there to other countries in search of jobs, mm -hmm. okay? They need to be traveling because they are going to those new countries either to, to add to, to, to what is already there right either to 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 for job advancement job ad advancement simply means um let's say as a cameroonian right you leave cameroon because you've had you know uh, uh an advancement opportunity or um uh, one of medias in the you know request for you to come over there and do some kind of training or you know you're leaving rwanda because you're 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 uh, going into uh, Cameroon or going into Nigeria because you're trying to, you know, gain more knowledge or uh, learn more uh, on how to uh, make better of what you already do, but not because you are actually seeking for menial just in that new country. And so these are some of the things that we need to first take care of. Our individual countries need to make sure that the youth are employed. We need to make sure that the leadership is working. We need to curb the malfeasance. We need to curb the, curb the corrupt activity that exists within our countries individually before we can venture into activities like this. Because if not, we are only going to be creating more chaos than it already exists.
a lot of countries are going to uh, find themselves emptying into most other countries that are also struggling but are more advanced than 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 a lot of uh, our African countries. So thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Vivian Ayafo. You just highlighted some of the measures that should be put in place to ensure the visa-free travel that will definitely promote inclusive and benefit all segments of society. We very much appreciate that. And we were looking at uh, some of the implications of visa-free travel in Africa, and we were on the aspect of uh, security. Now, let's look at uh, possibly the economic implications of uh, visa-free travel um, across Africa. Uh, what do you think, uh, and uh, how will visa-free travel uh, within Africa impact inter that uh, intracontinental trade and economic growth? Do you see this uh, practically or positively benefiting uh, economic uh, aspects and how do you see the free movement impacting the economic sector? Will it be a much plus or do you think there are going to be some constraints? Thanks again, um, Lois. I, I definitely, um, again, even the warning on so many uh, security apparatus and infrastructure apparatus to be put in place before it's ventured into. But once accomplished, once all is said and done, it is a great, great, it will potentially be a great uh, um, avenue for Africans and, and, and African countries to be able to trust one another again, to be able to trade with one another again, to be able to um, um, flourish, flourish in the aspects of uh, technology, in the aspects of medical advancement, in the aspects of infrastructural um, um, advancement. Because once these start happening, countries start exchanging ideas um, on uh, technology, uh, advancement on infrastructural advancement on medical advancement because guess what when when you start leaving one country to another right they learn a lot just like when we leave the continent and, and come abroad we learn a lot and then when we come back to our home countries we empower our people we we impact some of the knowledge that we've learned and not let's not forget that there is brain uh, 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 gain, uh, right within yeah. the continent. That brain gain stays within the continent. That 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 exchange of ideas is extremely important for economic development, for social development, and for technological advancement and development. It is crucially important because they say. Um, when, when we run as individuals, when a country runs alone, it runs fast. But when a country runs with other countries within the continent, within the global world, it runs even fastest, right? And so I think it's a great, great idea if potentially um, uh, implemented right, if pot potentially um, uh, if some feasibility studies are done properly, it will potentially be a very, very explosive idea positively uh, for the people of Africa and, and, and the African continent as a whole and the global world. Thank you. 